Hello guys, it's me, Red the Dinosaur, and today in Forza Horizon 5 with the Jaguar F-Type SBR, part of the update that we got, and it's basically the last vehicle of this update, because Monday we got the stream showing us the new cars that we got, and looks pretty interesting overall, and if it, there is a new car pack, I'm gonna cover it, don't worry about that. But let's move on to the Jaguar. What is up with this vehicle? Well, let's start with the looks. It doesn't have all the nice things that the normal Jaguar has, the normal F-Type. It doesn't have the white body and all that stuff. It, some people might, might like it, but I don't find anything wrong with it. I think the car compensates it very well in other areas that we're gonna speak pretty soon. But overall, pretty s box standard car you can you you can change too much of in in terms of its its styling let's move on to the performance which is pretty good this is one of the best cars i've been driven for this update and that's a long term because well the the mustang that we got that we got for free is pretty good and they also the the sn98 mustang is also pretty decent but this car blows everything out of the water. This SBR F-Type is absolutely stunning. It's kind of compared to the Project 8 Jaguar that we got on a car pack. But this is a bit, it's a bit worse, but it's just a tiny bit. It's really responsive on its corners. The acceleration is really, really good. And overall, the top speed is there. It's not exactly good, but it's, it's just there. It's, it, you can get in S1900 pretty much 320 re in, ba in basically in, in a short time. This car is really, really good. Overall, one of the best cars, if not the best car of this month. It's, and it's a car that we didn't talk too much uh, because the Mustangs were pretty much the focus of the scene and also the Raptor. No one wanted to see this Jaguar so in this case this was a car that was like under a bit of an underdog but it delivers really good results. It's a car that I really recommend you to get if you are into competitive stuff. It's one of the best S1900s in my opinion and it's pretty much the best car that you can get on its class. It just blows every GT car out of the water. I'm not saying, I'm saying GT cars, that is basically the field that is is into. Not Super GT, well Super GT you got the Ferrari F12 TDF and other cars that are way better than this. But in GT, this is the car that you have to get. Really, really responsive. It's kind of like the same feel that we got with the Mercedes AMG GTR being on the on another class and being pretty competitive on that. Pretty much being the car that you need to get on for those type of races that you need. On this, it's pretty much the same. This SBR F-Type is it delivers supercar handling su and race car specs to basically a class that doesn't have anything of that. So, pretty, pretty good car overall. I'm impressed. And yeah, you should get completely this car if you have the chance. So yeah, it's only for 20 points for this uh, week. You can get it and it's, it's a really, really good car. That's all I have to say. So that's pretty much it for today, guys. Let me know in the comment section what do you think of the Jaguar F-Type SBR, if you were expecting it or not. If you wanted it or you're just skipping it, I'm all ears, so you can just leave your comment right there. So that's pretty much it, guys. See you pretty much next week. If there is a new car pack, I'm gonna cover it. And also in, in Saturday, I will see what is up with the with these new cars that we're gonna we're gonna receive pretty much, uh, on thir on thir on Tuesday, if I'm not wrong, but when the game updates. So yeah, the guys, thank you very much, and see you on the next one. Goodbye.